It's a rainy old day today. We're on our way to Swansea. I'm with my handsome invisible boyfriend here. If you're new, my invisible boyfriend is a real human. He's just not on camera. And we call him IB. It stands for invisible boyfriend. But anyway. As you can see, it's absolutely belting down with rain. So we're going to do an indoors thing today in Swansea. Nice blue building there. We've got some sparkly glowing lights over there, some sort of winter wonderland set up. We're driving around in circles looking to get into the car park. This rain is not letting up. We're somewhere called Salubrious Place. Oh yes, here we go. Going up into the multi-storey car park. I wonder if it's gonna make a singy songy noise like the one in Ponty does. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's nice and cheery, wasn't it? Look, 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 we've got clouds painted on the wall. That's pretty, uh, isn't it? Going up. We are parking. Ooh. I'm out. There's a rather marvellous view of the Winter Wonderland big wheel from here. So let's have a quick look at that and try not to get run over by any cars coming. I bet that looks absolutely spectacular in the dark. Look at those lights. IB is being a parking perfectionist and he's going back and forth, back and forth, trying to get it in all tidy. We are going to head out on foot to the Waterfront Museum. We're out, we're under a shelter at the moment so I can keep filming with this camera a minute. But I'm going to have to switch to the GoPro, I'm afraid. Ah, that's the old museum there, we're not going there now though. No, it's not the one we're going in. That's the Swansea Museum. We're going to go to the pedestrian crossing actually, it looks a bit safer. Oh, it's a really cold wind cover. Oh, we're going to do a dash, are we? I'm dashing. <laughs> oh, it's not on great. Oh, it is on great. Oh, my bee's legging it across the road. Look how puddly it is today. Oh, well, it's nice and fresh out and it's not as cold as it has been. It's about four degrees today, which compared to the uh, zero and below is quite pleasant, actually, even if it is a bit wet. And there's the museum. I think they've got um, some ancient Egyptian stuff in there, if I remember rightly, but it's a long time since I've been. Oh, yikes, it really is pretty wet today. Apparently the sat-nav says we're going the wrong way. Hi Bee's getting the right move on today. I'm having to run to keep up with him. There's a great big enormous floody puddle there. Uh, we're a bit lost, but it's on the waterfront. Um, there's water. Is that the front? I suppose the front depends on which way you look at it. One of those confusing terms like left and right. It just depends from which perspective you view it. This is why I can never get my head around left and right. This side of the basin to the right, so we shouldn't really be able to get it wrong. Well, those could be famous last words. Did you hear what he just said? He said, we shouldn't really be able to get it wrong. But if anybody can get it wrong, me and Ivy can. Look, look, boots. It's not quite the weather for standing and gazing lovingly at them, is it, today? I love staring at that one. It's fascinating. It's kind of in a bit of a state of decay, but if I, I find it really interesting to look at. It's an enormous, impassable puddle. I'm going to avoid it. Uh, there's a tram museum by there. We've never got into it because it's always been closed when we've been near it and I don't think it opens till closed till March yeah, at the moment. It's on my list of things to do at some point though. There, I see it. It's there. We've been walking for ages but look how close we are to that. <laughs> that's where we were at the beginning. We've done a big circle. Oh, that's heavy door. Oh, blinking heck. Oh, <laughs> that's because it was an automatic one. Oh, it's a bit slippy, isn't it, with the wet tiles? Oh, the lights are pretty in here. Can you see them? They're on the ceiling. We're in the foyer. We didn't realise, but there's a, like a temporary, I presume it's a temporary exhibition here at the moment. And it's about the life of the miners down here in South Wales and the miners' wives as well. And it's really good, actually. It's taken the form of these boards here. So there's some quotes directly from people who lived through it on the side. And actually, they've got this rather interesting animation here. It's like a three-dimensional rotating photograph. Everybody knew everybody. We had nothing, we had no money, nothing. There's a range of emotions that you go through as you read these quotes. Some of the things are shocking, some of the things strike a chord within you and it's quite emotional and then you get a few funny things too. We go from filthy and tired to death to funny ice creams all in one board. The local primary schools have got involved with it as well and they've produced various artworks. The raindrops are kind of gliding down the window there. They kind of look a bit like swimming tadpoles. 
we've come into a big gallery and we're slowly working our way around it. I must say that is a very spooky looking helmet. It's from 1931 and it was apparently like a rescuing helmet so you could breathe through it. Oh yeah, there's a tube going off, look. I was looking at these ancient medical apparatus here and thinking, oh, well, they're very interesting. And then I saw what it said, amputation kit. Oh, 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 ow. I've been standing here reading about geology and looking at rock samples and it's talking about where they came from, how they were formed, what they might have been used for. That pink one is gypsum apparently, I recognise that and it was found in Panaf and that's the sort of place I used to be able to find them. Ornamental building stone apparently. Wales is renowned for its slate and it tells us how that was formed. Oh look at all that coal in there, in the trucks. That was a chewing tobacco tin. I suppose they couldn't have smoked down there because it would have been so flammable, wouldn't it? Rather disturbingly, it says even some of the horses chewed tobacco. And that thing there, because the atmosphere was so full of coal dust and things like that, they used to use that as an outer protection for their pocket watches so they could keep an eye on the time. There's their lunch boxes and that would have water in or maybe some cold tea. Well, we were very much enjoying that gallery, weren't we, IB? But I had to admit to IB that even though we did have breakfast before we came out, I was starting to get a bit hungry and I looked at my watch and it was three hours ago. So we came into the museum cafe and got a coffee, a flat white with oat milk and I have food on the way and so does he. I can report that it is a very nice coffee actually. Mm. And IB is having a lovely cup of tea. We're sitting here having conversations about what we've taken in from the mining exhibitions, actually. We're amazed by how dangerous it was, but yet amazed that more what, people what, didn't what die. Are you having, I'm having a three bean chilli. Oh, here yeah, it comes. That was our food coming. And what actually amazed me was so many accounts from the miners saying that they enjoyed it. Because <laughs> to me, it just seems like living hell. But no, they enjoyed the camaraderie, the team spirit. But anyway, look. And the thing was, it was the heart of the community. So this is the three bean chilli that I've gone for with a little side salad there. That was delicious. I was still drinking my coffee. We've been chit-chatting very pleasantly. And look, oh, isn't that cute? Somebody's been out in the rain, they're drying their gloves. We have emerged. I think I might go straight upstairs. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go back. Oh, look all the water's getting in. They've like put a chair there. <laughs> I'm going back in. Ivy's just reading a load of placards about Rebecca's riots. Is this going to open automatically? Turn off. Oh, so festive looking. Look, this cafe is shut. So we went to the little one, which was near the entrance. I'm going to go back into the gallery where we were and have a quick look around it. There's so much to read. You could literally spend your whole trip just in that gallery alone. And we don't want to because there's so much more to see. And we've got slightly limited time. We're going out this evening. So, but IB is going to go upstairs. There are loads of candle holders here that would have been used down the mines. Isn't it shocking to think that they would have been down there by candlelight and if it went out, absolutely pitch black. Mind you thinking about it, that's, that's really dangerous candles because they're, you know, naked flames. They had dangerous gases down there from time to time, didn't they? Look, we've got a guy here in 1909 with prosthetic legs. They look very different to today's ones, don't they? I'm fascinated by that sort of thing. There he is looking into his eyes. If they were disabled at work, they would often be kept on as employees, but doing lighter work above ground, maybe picking coal from conveyor belts, looking after machinery, staffing equipment rooms, that sort of thing. Oh, poorly paid, but they allowed disabled workers to continue and provide for their families. I do count myself lucky with my working conditions, really. I can't complain. I mean, sometimes I feel a bit cold on stage or whatever, but nothing compared to that. And you know, it's not dangerous. This is one of my favorite bits of the museum. Look Look at this, it's a car from 1890. It looks like a baby's pram, doesn't it, in a way. I'm fascinated by this stuff. And you can see how close they were to the horseless carriages, can't you? It's so interesting to see the evolutionary steps that were taken to get from there to where we are now. The seats look kind of comfy. We're not allowed to touch it. I so want to put my hands on that seat and feel its smooth, cold shininess. I can imagine what it feels like. No seat belts though, but I don't suppose they went all that fast in those days. Look at the great big wheels. There's not exactly um, pneumatic tires on there. I wonder what the suspension was like, if there was any. You just have to climb quite high to get up into it. I mean, it is raised on a platform, but still, that's pretty high compared to today's ones, isn't it? I wonder if this here is like a bit of suspension, a bit of, you know, boing boing <laughs> and all that. There's a bit of information for you. If you would like to freeze the screen and have a read, there's the back of that car. 
It's a tricycle made for two. It's a sociable tricycle from the 1880s. Now my friend Mick, who you've seen in the videos, that calls for the Cady Band has got a tandem that he and his wife ride, but they're in line obviously, whereas this is side by side, isn't it? Wonder what that little um, raised up wheel is for there at the back. Look, it doesn't touch the ground. Uh, for tipping back? Hmm, there are the pedals anyway. Look, there's one down there, one up there. And who remembers the Sinclair C5? I think I would have felt a bit vulnerable in one of those amongst the traffic because it's very low down, isn't it? I wonder if people might have had a bit of trouble knowing you were there. Is that a pedal? We can see the fair from here too. It's really coming to life now, isn't it? There's an aeroplane up there. I'm gonna head up these steps because I can then look down at everything from above. It's one of those duplicator machines. This one's from about 1955 and they were the precursor to the photocopier. I remember having these at primary school and the paper that came out used to smell amazing and I'm sure we weren't all supposed to be sniffing it, but we were. It says it's a stencil duplicator. There's a 1920s Hoover there as well, look. In this corridor, there's a whole load of these little anti-chambers here where you can sit in and watch projections and sit in there so you can hear the audio well. Oh, look at that old tape recorder. <laughs> that looks very familiar from around 1970. I'm going to move on to the next gallery now. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, this is the back of another exhibition that I haven't seen. I'm going in there. Oh my gosh, that hairdryer. I love seeing things like that. It kind of gives me a spooky thrill and I don't know why. But something kind of otherworldly and like another dimension about it. I love this. I'm moving out now. Look, there's a gift shop down there. It's beautifully lit for Christmas, isn't it? And look, you can see there are all lanterns and stars threaded over there. I'm gonna head this way and see what I can find. Oh, look, there's a children's corner here. That's useful to know. I'm in a bigger upstairs gallery now, and it's very interesting. Lots of real things to look at, and also lots of modern interactive displays as well. We're trying to leave. I put my coat and hat on, but now we've gravitated into this antechamber because another one of those really old hoovers. They fascinate me so much. I don't know why. And another one of those old hair dryers as well. This, I presume, was a washing machine. That's just honestly, I mean, yeah, it looks like a museum piece and it is. Ooh, we can hear different acoustics in this bit. Very interesting. Hmm, I wonder what that pipe was for. Maybe going down a sink. Perhaps it wasn't like plumbed in. I want to touch it and lift that up, but I think I probably better not. I don't even know what that is, but it's got a handle with a mangle on it. Well, what's the insidey bit then? It's two rollers, just splashing the water. Oh, and the water just goes down the hole. Well, that's a big hole for collecting it. Well, I just wonder if it does something else. Well, oh, right, okay. When you take them out, you chuck them through the mangle, that just partially dries them. How do you know this? Because I'm old. <laughs> not that old. <laughs> There's one more thing I'm going to show you and then we're leaving. And it's the 1923 Dodge, complete with actual wooden spokes in the wheels. IB says it's got nice, thick, substantial steel on its outer hull, not like the rubbish you get these days. <laughs> it looks really luxurious, doesn't it? Look at the back seat there. Oh, it's so roomy, a lot of leg room. Let's leave. Hope this isn't going to start moving. I don't like the ones that move and you haven't got any control over them. Oh, look, the fair is in full swing. Is it still raining? Is the camera going to get wet? Yes. Yay! <laughs> I want to go on that, it looks fun. Yay! Oh, it stopped randomly. It's going backwards. It is raining. It's kind of drizzling and windy. And we're going to make our way back to the car. I've heard from my daughter that she's going to be in for about an hour before we're going out for the evening. So that's good. I'll be able to feed her, cook her a nice mummy dinner. Because <laughs> I haven't seen her for so long. I'm looking forward to having her back home for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you happen to like it. If you'd like to watch more videos from this channel, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.